Okay, frequently asked question number seven. Was the King James Bible written by Sir Francis Bacon? <laughs> you know, it's just like, uh, yes. And, and uh, you know, did Donald Duck uh, really go on a boat with Mickey Mouse or something? I mean, stupid, idiotic bunch of nonsense. Um, what they do is they try to say that the preface to the original 1611 was an occult thing, you know, and all this other stuff. And Sir Francis Bacon was the general editor of the King James Bible and all this it's just absolutely ridiculous. And it's funny because the New Agers, their way of handling the truth that they know is in the King James Bible, they try to, they try to say that New Agers wrote it as an end times blueprint for what they were going to do to bring in the New World Order. Um, yes, but it prophesies their own destruction. So why write a book that prophesies your, the destruction of your system? It's not very intelligent. And, you know, like I've said in the, the thing about the, the book review I did of this, Mark uh, Phillips and Kathy O'Brien, the mind-controlled slave there, you know, these New Age wing nuts, you know, they brought up the thing of Francis Bacon, you know, being the writer of the King James Bible. It's nonsense. And, first of all, they quote New Age sources to prove that Sir Francis Bacon wrote the King James Bible, which is stupid. But, you know... The, the more important thing to think about there is uh, Sir Francis Bacon did not just, you know, if he wrote the King James Bible, um, what about the Bibles that came before it? What about the fact that there's Greek text and Greek and Hebrew that existed long before the King James Bible? And there were other ancient translations, and they agree with the King James Bible. See, again, you know, this all this guy showed up in in the, you know, uh, late 16th, early 17th century to write our King James Bibles for us. And he's, it's this great occult, you know, conspiracy that the Bible was just written there and, and by an occultist so that it would be the end times playbook. Don't fall for that nonsense, okay? Don't fall for a bunch of stupid, wicked New Agers out there that are trying to wreck your faith in the King James Bible. Okay, New Agers would not have written the King James Bible. That's ridiculous absolutely absurd and they can't prove it with anything but other occult new age writers you know and you get uh, david bay from cutting edge ministries you know and he's you know wrote some articles and stuff you know espousing the same stupid nonsense you know and i mean i dropped cutting edge a long long time ago i had listened to those guys when i was early saved you know early early on and it was just like you know there, there's all kinds of problems there you know, they're using stuff that's new versions and he's using the Amplified Bible. And Don't fall for that nonsense. No, Francis Bacon did not have anything to do with the King James Bible. Okay, just the same as King James did not translate any of the King James Bible. All right, there were 54 translators, 47 till the whole thing was done. You know, some of them died, some of them had to resign for whatever, you know. <clears throat> but it was started out 54, then 47 men you know, and they did a tremendous job on the King James Bible. God directed it. You know, I mean, it's, it's just, and, and it was all just, you know, the work was taken over, you know, all those scholars meeting together. And Francis Bacon did, you know, just kind of compiled the whole thing and just kind of took, yeah, yeah, nonsense, absolute nonsense. Don't fall for that lie. It's ridiculous.